Introducing GPT-4, this is the latest release from OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT. I want to share my screen and show you GPT-4 in action. And so on the OpenAI website right now, this is the day of the launch of GPT-4. You can learn more about GPT-4 and here give some examples and use cases for GPT-4. And you can also try it right now on ChatGPT Plus. That is the paid subscription model for ChatGPT and it has early access to GPT-4 with some limits. I'll tell you more about that when I show it in action. There is a video that describes GPT-4 there and then also some notes around the creativity, visual input, and longer context that GPT-4 can handle up to 25,000 words, I might add. So let's get into my own ChatGPT Plus account. I am logged in, you see here that this is ChatGPT Plus. Let me change this to dark mode. And then the default model comes up. That is the old GPT 3.5. And it also notes the different ratings based on reasoning speed and conciseness. So we've got GPT 3.5, legacy GPT 3.5, and now the brand new GPT-4, which rates well for reasoning and conciseness, speed is not as fast. GPT-4 excels at tasks that require advanced reasoning, complex instruction, understanding, and more creativity. So once I've selected GPT-4, you notice that there is a message that it currently has a cap of 100 messages every four hours. So even though I am a plus subscriber, there are limits and this will be very much at capacity sometime today because they're getting ready to demo this live in a couple of hours. Let me give this a prompt and put this to the test and see what I can do as far as having it write something pretty long for me. This is a pretty long prompt, but I'm asking to give me a book chapter on this topic, which would be the evolution of employment in the age of AI, and also to add sections on AI's impact on resumes, job interviews, as well as recruiting and then also to cover automation outlook into the year 2100, as well as a section on how to prepare your AI pivot into a relevant career. And then I'm asking in the end to also provide a total word count at the end. You don't have to copy and paste that which ChatGPT produces into another website or into Microsoft Word to try and get a word count. You can always just ask ChatGPT, now GPT-4, for that word count in the end as well. And so let's see what it comes up with. And you'll notice as well that it's not super speedy, but hopefully it will provide great uh, content for me here. And it will be up to you to decide if this is an improvement compared to GPT-3.5. You can put that to the test if you do have ChatGPT Plus. If you don't, please do leave in the comments below what you would like for me to prompt inside of GPT-4. And if that would be math equations or complex scenarios, be glad to do that, record it, and publish that also. So I am taking requests, put those in the comments. So here are the different sections that it is providing and going in depth and still going as well. I'll be interested to see how many words in the end that this generates. And while that's right, I'm going to scroll up to see some of the top here in order to review what we have. We've got an introduction, and then it's dividing these into section one, two, three, et cetera, and then numbering the different sections. It's not giving or pontificating fully on each of these, but it's giving a one to two sentence paragraph for each of these points. And you could ask it to go even deeper on these points as well. So in the end, you probably could get to 25,000 words fairly quickly using GPT-4. And here we have the conclusion rounding it out and a word count of 464 words. So still well below 25,000, of course, but it has done a pretty good job of giving us a good amount of content. So now I'm going to ask it just to give me 500 words on 0.5.3 here. Okay, and let's see what that does. I'm prompting, give me 500 plus words on section 5.3 and give me the resulting word count. So I'm going to send that and then we will see what that produces. And so this is breaking this down into subpoints of 5.31, the importance of a growth mindset, and then it's telling us in the age of AI, cultivating a growth mindset is more critical than ever. With the rapid pace of technological advancements and the constant evolution of industries, a fixed mindset, the belief that intelligence and abilities are static, can be detrimental to one's career success. Great sounding paragraphs. I think the quality of the writing seems to be there. I haven't gone real in depth on this, but I plan to, especially now that GPT-4 is out. Now it's continuing on and giving me even some alphabetical subpoints here in one of these sections as far as action steps that the reader could take. And this is section 5.3.2, characteristics of a growth mindset, things to do to foster a growth mindset, such as embrace challenges, persist in the face of setbacks, value effort, learn from criticism, 
be inspired by others' success. And as always with any AI-generated content, you want to give it your own voice and not just simply copy and paste. There are AI detection tools out there that can detect that something's been generated by AI. So you may also disagree with some of these points. And so you wouldn't want to be publishing things that you personally disagree with or don't believe in. And so I do always encourage you to review that which is generated by GPT-4 now and add your own spin and voice to it and not just take it in a copy and paste fashion. But as you can tell, we're getting a lot of words here. And so in the conclusion, it's rounding out that one original section into a very lengthy article. It, I guess it forgot to give me the word count and perhaps it's not done. Yeah, it's, it hasn't finished. So you'll see this happen in ChatGPT free is that it will stop generating sometimes. And it's just done that here for me. So I'm gonna ask it to continue. So it almost made it to the end. And so here's picking right back where it left off and staying that in the age of AI by fostering resilience, adaptability, and a commitment to continuous learning, individuals can better prepare themselves for the inevitable changes and uncertainties that lie ahead. And then it's continuing on. In conclusion, that's always the key that you're looking for is something like that. And this is a pretty involved paragraph as well. So we've just generated from that one original section a word count of 1,061. So you can tell that you could write a book fairly easily with ChatGPT and using the GPT-4 model. As I mentioned earlier, you can leave in the comments what you would like for me to prompt inside of GPT-4, and it just might be my next video. Together, we can explore the depths and the weaknesses and strengths of GPT-4. So I'll see you next time.